Houston, Texas, if you see somebody that you know on stage, I want you to hear you scream their numbers out. Help the judges. Let's bring them. Let's bring them all out to the line. All right. Let's bring, bring them all, them all out, out yeah. to the line. I did not place yesterday, uh, but I did my best. But for now, something that I'm gonna fill you guys in is that surprise. Um, I'm not. I'm not done yet. I don't get to celebrate. I don't get my, my sushi or my celebratory meal because. Um, I'm actually doing another show. There we go. I am official. Men's Physique Open registered for next Saturday. On to the next prep adventure. <laughs> hey guys, what's up? So it's been a few days since my uh, MPC show. I apologize for the gap in time. I feel like this is the first time or first day that I've actually been able to catch my breath. I kind of, it's been a whirlwind of a two weeks and I haven't really even had time to really process everything. So here I am today. It's been the first day where I felt somewhat caught up with things. So now I'm going over my post-show thoughts and just kind of wrapping up this series because it's almost that it's almost hard to to end it and like let it go but uh you know the last one i i didn't end it and this one is the official end of well, at least for 2020 but we'll get to that so my npc show it went well okay in this class if the athletes have been out they will not be out to pose and 53 is our newcomer it's cody Harmon. placing fifth but it was out of six guys so I don't know how much that counts but ultimately it doesn't the placing in this show doesn't really matter as much to me as it does that I did this show and I remember talking to my friend going into this being like my main motivation for doing this show back to back doing an NPC NPC show that I didn't feel that I was really ready for when it came to my physique uh, I was just, if I do this show, I would be surprising myself, and I want to do that. I want to surprise myself, and I want to do something that I did not think that I could do, or that I do not think that I'm capable of, and just commit to it and do it, and I did, and I'm super proud of myself for that. So there's two things, you know, I'm still processing a lot of it, so I might come back and revisit this, but the two things that don't escape me are that I'm um, my gratitude and pride and just so grateful uh, that I ended up doing this show this year it was unexpected but I'm proud for doing it I worked my ass off I had some pretty pretty tough days where I had to really really dig deep and grind right now I'm in depletion mode because I'm trying to get the carbs out of my body from my last peak week <laughs> my last show um, so my carbs are incredibly low, um, especially for me. I've never had this low carbs before, so it's fun. Got more cardio, less carbs. Time to eat some breakfast. This is my only meal with carbs today, so I'm going to enjoy the fuck out of it, basically.
kind of a a Thai flavor. So it's a peanut sauce um, bodybuilder style, which in real life is still gross for you guys. But for me, I am starving. So basically dog shit looks good. Get those workouts in, do the cardio, eat next to nothing, and just get through every second, it was like one minute at a time, one hour at a time, one day, one rep, one step. It's show day. So, yeah. <laughs> I'm like, how do I feel? That's a good question. Anxious, yes, of course. Um, other than that, I don't feel a lot more than that. Um, but I'm kind of just trying to stay calm and being like, I've already done all the work. I've done absolutely everything I've been directed to do. Absolutely everything my coach has said to like a T, nothing different, nothing more, nothing less. Um, like just literally, by the cream of everything, by the, the the work, everything is, I've, I've done everything I could. So whatever happens today, um, I'm gonna be happy about, especially since this is my first MPC show. So just that is like an accomplishment for me. So that's my biggest kind of takeaway and reward coming from this is the experience and just to be able to say, hey, this is my first NBC show, and I get to look back on this day and always remember this day and then see how far I've come, you know, in the future. So I made it. I made that step onto the stage, first NBC show, and I'm proud of what I brought to the stage, all things considered, and, you know, all the surgeries leading up to it, and not really having a good, solid break from surgeries and time to keep building off of what I had already established and so considering everything um, you know social anxiety anxiety uh, just my past you know, being trans and um, stepping on that stage felt amazing and it was just the start of things uh, I'm looking at this NPC show as basically that starting progress picture that everyone hates to, to take uh, this is my starting progress picture so one day I can look back on this show and be like, damn, this is where I started, this is where I am now. So on that note, this is not going to be anywhere near my last uh, NPC show, show in general. I, man, I didn't know at the time. Like, I, I, if you might remember looking back, I thought that this, that the Summer Shredding Show might be the last show I ever did. But I didn't understand or realize how important it is for me to have competition and to have something to work and strive for and goals and how having that in my life actually makes me be a better coach, be, uh, just perform better in general because I feel good, I feel alive, and that just overflows into the rest of my life. And I was worried that it would have the opposite effect where I wouldn't be able to be as focused as a coach and that it would take away my energy from that, but it really has done the opposite. I feel like I have more energy now. I have more to give to other people because I have this part of my life that I'm allowed to have for myself. And I'm rambling on now at this point, but when it comes to summer shutting and then the NPC show, I'll go over the differences in, in, in my next video, but overall, what I am feeling currently is just pride and gratitude and Gratitude to my coach for convincing me to do it um, and believing in me enough to, to do it and believing in me to carry me on into, you know, the next show, next season, and it's time to, to get serious and, and bulk up. This is going to be the first bulking season I'm going to be able to have without a surgery uh, to get in the way. So I guess on that note, I'm just here introducing uh, the journey to the gains, you know? So we're gonna be bulking and gonna be actually eating some food. I'm gonna show you all that process. And of course, you know, we'll be leading up to the 2021 competitions, whatever that may, might be. I don't have any 
uh, in sight yet. It probably will depend on where I'm at size-wise, what I'm looking like, that sort of thing. I gotta talk to my coach, basically. Haven't done a whole lot of specifics with him yet, besides we're gonna bulk, we're gonna put on size, because the difference between me and the, the guys who placed above me was definitely size. So if I can come in with more size, but also shredded, I think I would have a much better chance of um, placing. And I think that's something that I've been struggling with, is to actually say publicly or say out loud that um, I'm competitive and I want a place. And I do have these goals to strive to win. And for some reason, I don't know if it has to do with uh, religion or just, you know, how I was raised or, or whatever, where it feels like I should, it's selfish to want something like that. So, you know what, I'm, I'm just, I'm done feeling guilty for for striving for, for goals and for wanting things and being competitive. Like, it's just, it's just who I am. And uh, I'm excited to chase after what I want. And you, don't, you only get one life. So go after what you're passionate about. And for me, my passion is coaching. Uh, I'm grateful every day that I get to be a coach. And then it's also, you know, competing and, and doing this because it makes me feel alive. So on that note, I'm wrapping it up here. And I want to thank you all for the support through this whole series. And uh, man, the journey to the stage ended up being the journey to two different stages amongst COVID. This year has been crazy. So thoughts wrapped up before I just keep going. But uh, time to bulk. And I hope you will join me along for that. And uh, yeah. Peace out, guys. I'll see you next time. Uh, I'm men's physique class A. However, I will say, when they measured me today, I was 5'3 and a half. So, watch out, guys. Get taller. <laughs>